So we are out in the Ford Thunderbird um, and I'm here with Rob. Hiya Rob. Hiya. Um, we're just doing the meet the owner video and um, just got to give Rob a, a bit of a chance to get used to the car because we were just out in the Elan Sprint which is probably the polar opposite of this car, the Ford Thunderbird from 1955. We were just uh, joking as we were pulling out. Um, that the Elan Sprint probably weighs the same as the engine block in this car, a uh, big old uh, 4.8 litre V8. Anyway, yeah. so Rob, tell us a bit about um, this car, you know, how long has it been the collection, a bit of the history of the car? Mark's had it for about two and a half years, yeah. uh, they bought it off Colin Blower. Okay. Colin Blower was a well-known uh, racing driver, and one of his passions was cars, and he bought this and spent six years rebuilding it. Every nut and bolt, he built it for himself, so you can imagine he made a proper job of it. Yeah. All the panels, all the engine, everything. Yeah. If you go over it and look at it, it looks, every panel looks like brand new. Yeah. Uh, it is what it is, a 1955, but it does have electric windows, power steering, yeah. electric seat, uh, even got a rev counter, which is one of the first cars to have it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I guess if you get used to it, it'd be quite a nice. Right. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I feel like I need my leather coat on and my dark shades on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, definitely. I think we. I feel like we need a bit more sun as well. To be honest with you, it feels like a car to be driving down the coast. Uh, really beautiful car. And as you said, uh, Colin, who uh, was the owner who restored this car, former uh, race driver, he's done an amazing job. It's a really, really nice car. You can you can tell the. The time and effort that's gone into this car it's it's a really really nice thing um, and so do you know what what possessed uh, or what, what uh, made Mark buy this car Rob? Um, he, he has the garage up there from a college garage and uh, yeah. he saw the car and he liked it very much yeah. and so he bought he bought it to, to go in his collection and Colin was pleased because he knew it was going to be well looked after yeah as, as all Mark's cars are yeah and, uh, so it, that's it, it didn't really move, it just it just moved from one gallery to the next. Yeah. And um, has he has Mark used this car much, Rob? Yes, yes he, he used to take it down the Cotswolds, funny enough. Yeah. He used to enjoy driving it. Yeah, yeah. It's a nice sunny day, top off, beautiful car. Yeah. You don't feel like you want to rush around in it, you just take, you just cruise in it. Yeah, yeah. A, a nice lumpy old V8. Yeah. Typical American sound to it. Yeah, it does. Yeah, is, really yeah. super smooth as well. Um, you know, we did we did the cold start on it earlier. It hadn't been started in ages. You know, the car's been parked up in the corner of the garage, and you know the the V8 ticking over started on the button. Yeah, we needed to use a booster just because it hasn't been used on the battery. But from the engine turning over perspective, it was on straight away, and it was just as smooth as so smooth. It's just like a little sewing machine ticking over. Yeah, you don't realise it's a big V8. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but that, Colin being a, an engineer, motor engineer, you'd expect it to be right. Yes, so. yeah, exactly. Yeah. Right. And um, so yeah, Rob, uh, Mark has used the car, uh, used it down on little trips, uh, unlike some of his other cars that where he bought them low mileage and he hasn't really used them much because he wants to preserve them. This one is one that he has used uh, on occasion and it's a, a really, really nice example from 1955. Uh, we'll do some more videos in terms of the exterior and the interior, which you'll see uh, on, the, on, the, on the road videos. Okay, thanks very much for that information, Rob.